When 140 grams of silver nitrate was reacted with a solution of sodium chloride, there were 86 grams of silver nitrate produced in this reaction. So there are two questions that we need to address here. First, what is the limiting reactant in this reaction? Is it the silver nitrate or is it the sodium chloride? And also the second, the mass of the sodium chloride that was initially present in the solution. So these are the two questions that we need to address. In order to answer both of them, we need to first find the moles. Let's find the moles of silver nitrate. Now the moles of silver nitrate are equal to the mass of the silver nitrate divided by the molar mass of the silver nitrate. So this is equal to 140 grams divided by 169.9 grams. So cancel this grams per mole. So this is equal to 0 0.824 moles of silver nitrate. Now, if we have 0 0.824 moles of silver nitrate, then how much of product we expect to form based on the mole ratio of the chemical equation? Let's put it here. So it's one mole, one mole, and one mole. And you can pause the video for a moment and try to determine how much of silver chloride would be formed if this was the limiting reactant. Okay, so based on the mole ratio, we have one mole, one mole, one mole. Everything is one to one, which means that that amount of silver nitrate would produce the same amount of the moles. So moles of the silver chloride will be eight, four here, moles. And now what we want to do is we want to compare this with what actually was formed. We know that actually there was 86 grams of silver chloride formed. So to find the moles of silver chloride, what we want to do is, again, we're going to divide the mass by, by, by the molar mass. So 86.0 grams divided by 143.3 grams per mole. We cancel the grams, and so we have 0 0.600 moles of silver chloride. This is the actual yield of this reaction. So 0 0.6 has formed, but we predicted based on the silver nitrate that we will have 0 0.824 if the silver nitrate was the limiting reactant, which tells us that it is in fact not the limiting reactant because we have less than what we expected. So if this is not the limiting reactant, then sodium chloride has to be the limiting reactant and silver nitrate is in excess. Now, this is how we answer the first question. So the limiting reactant is the sodium chloride. Question number two, how many grams of sodium chloride we actually had in this solution? In order to do that, what we need to do is we need to find the moles of the sodium chloride based on the chemical equation. It is not going to be based on the silver nitrate because silver nitrate was not the limiting reactant so we cannot do our calculation based on that and so what we need to do we need to take this number 0 0.6 moles which is actually what has been formed and put here on top of silver chloride so 0 0.600 moles and then now based on the mole ratio we can find how many moles of sodium chloride had actually reacted so again, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, which means that number of the moles here is the same, 0 0.600 moles of sodium chloride. So then the mass of the sodium chloride will be equal to 0 0.600 moles multiplied by 58.4 grams per mole. We can cancel this. And so this should give us 35.0 grams of sodium chloride. 